Welcome, my name is Santos. Today we'll be installing a hitch on a Nissan Titan. Uh, that will be used for towing trailers, towing equipment, uh, towing vehicles, uh, if you need to use it for your camper or even just a bike rack. So we will go ahead and get that started. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Uh, for our first step, we will start over here on the driver's side. We have towing brackets that will be on both sides of the vehicle. We will be removing these so our hitch can be put into place. Uh, we have five bolts, two on this side, two right here, and then we have one towards the front of the vehicle. So these bolts are a 17 millimeter socket. We'll be using our power tool right here to be taking those off. Now when you release the last one, you'll be wanting to hold on to it because it will fall on you. Now we will move over to the passenger side. Now this one has the exhaust in the way, but it still has plenty of room where you can get to those and we will repeat that same process. Again, make sure you hold on to that. Okay. Now that we have those off, we will not be needing these anymore. Uh, you can just return them to the customers because uh, that will be replaced with the trailer hitch. Now that we have the tow brackets off, we will be looking at the weld nuts that we will be using for the hitch installation. Uh, Nissan has these pre-installed, um, which is wonderful for us. We'll require no drilling. We'll just be using these weld nuts on the outside. We took out five bolts for the towing brackets, but we will only be using these three on the outside along this frame. These two up front and one in the back, and it will also be the same on this side with these two on the outside and the one back here kind of hidden behind the exhaust. So now we will be raising the hitch into position. Uh, here in our shop, we have a hitch jack that we use to make it easier for one person. Many of you will most likely not be using a hitch jack and will need a extra set of hands as it can be a little interesting get it, getting it over the exhaust. So that's where we will start. So first obstacle that we will encounter right here is you have a little shackle right here, not a, not a ton of room to be able to fit it in normally so you will have to angle it a little bit if you just kind of take it down and as you can see normally it kind of hits around but if you get it just in the right angle and with a little love you get it right into position and we can start to line up those weld nuts Uh, now that we have the weld nuts uh, lined up with the hitch, we'll now be using the hardware that is given to us by the manufacturer. Uh, it is a 19 millimeter bolt, comes with a conical tooth washer. Uh, this will allow it to grab onto it and really stay in position once we get, in tight, get it tightened. So we will start by just hand tightening it for now. and we're just gonna get it started. And one more in the back. And now we'll go to the passenger side. And now we'll repeat the same process over here.
Now that we have those hand tightened, we will be using our power tools and tighten those all into place. Uh, we are back on the driver's side. We will be tightening up these bolts. We will be using a 19 millimeter socket with our power tool. Uh, we'll just get that tightened before we torque it with our torque wrench. And now we'll go to the passenger side. Now that we have those tightened, we'll be moving the hitch jack and getting uh, the torque wrench to put it to the right specification. All right, now that we have the bolts tightened, we will be torquing it to the proper specification. Uh, this hitch calls for 86 foot-pounds. We'll be using our torque wrench. Uh, we'll be using an extension with the 19 millimeter socket. We like the extension so we can get a little bit more turning uh, radius as a uh, so we don't hit the hitch as we're, we're turning it. So now we will torque that to the right. and we will repeat on the passenger side. And you just gotta find where it gives you where it gives you the most space to tighten that. Now that we have the trailer hitch installed, we will be taking a look at a couple of the features that it has. Uh, this trailer hitch is a two-inch receiver. Comes uh, with the hooks for safety chains that you can see on both sides. This comes with a round tube design that fits perfectly flush uh, with the with the bumper. Um, now that we have taken a look at that and have finished our install, we will take this down and take a look at a couple more specifications. Now that we have our vehicle on level ground, we will be taking a look at some measurements. We will start with the pinhole. Uh, from the pinhole till the end of the bumper, it is at three inches. That will help you select uh, any accessories that have a vertical post. And from the ground, till the inside top of the receiver. Comes at 21 inches, which will help you select the appropriate ball mount height. Once again, I'm Santos. Thank you for watching our video. Have fun, be safe, enjoy the outdoors, and happy trailering. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.